Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we will discuss linear and non-linear relationship in bivariate data and in family draw the line of fruit. Now we will see different types of association between two variables. Now whenever we are given a data, we follow four steps to find the relationship. First of all, we check the pattern of scatter plot, then we find the degree of relationship, and then we check the type of relationship, and then we check if outliers exist. Now, in our earlier session, we have discussed the relationship and degree of relationship in two variables, and now we will see the type of relationship. Now there are two types of relationships, linear and non-linear. Now a linear relationship is that in which the points on the scatter plot are moving upwards or downwards but almost in a straight line and a non-linear relationship is a relationship in which points on the scatter plot are moving upwards or downwards but not in a straight line, rather in the form of a curve. Now in the figure 1, as all the points are moving upwards, so there is a positive relationship and we see that these points almost move in a straight line. So this type of relationship is called linear positive relationship. And in this second figure, the points are again moving upwards and showing positive relationship. But they are not following a straight line, rather they are following a curve. So this type of relationship is called non-linear positive relationship. And similarly we have linear negative relationship and non-linear negative relationship. Now let us see how we will check for the outliers. Now outliers are the isolated points on the scatter plot which do not fit in the general trend of the data. Now look at this scatter plot. Here are two points are away from all the other points. Now let this be point A and this be point B. But here one point is according to the trend lying on the same line. So it is not an outlier. And the other point that is the point B is not according to the trend. So, it is an outlier. Now, let us discuss line of best fit. Now, this type of line is drawn in a linear relationship when almost all the points are moving in a straight line. Now, when we have drawn the scatter diagram and we have come to know about the pattern, then we can draw a line of fit which should have about same number of points above as below it. So here we have drawn line of fit and here we have to pay attention to the closeness of points on either side of the line and its direction 
should follow general trend of the data. That is, we will draw the line that seems to pass close to most of the data points. And here we have drawn a line to show linear relationship. Now look at these two images. Now in image 1, all the points are far away from the line. So this is not a correct line of fit. And in image 2, we can see almost all the points are close to the line and are both above and below the line. So this is the correct line of fit. Now let us discuss an example. The table below shows the distance travelled in miles and number of gallons of gas used in it. Describe the relationship between the two variables. If the data is linear, draw the line of best fit. Do you think line is a good fit for the data set? Why or why not? Now let us start with its solution. Now first of all, for this given data, we will draw a scatter plot. Now we know that distance travelled depends on the number of gallons of gas available. And we have taken a scale of 2 for number of gallons and a scale of 40 for number of miles. Now for this data, let us draw the scatter plot. First of all, let us plot the ordered pair 0, 0 on the graph. So this is the point which represents the ordered pair 0, 0. Then the next ordered pair is 2.375. So this is the point which represents the ordered pair 2.375. And similarly, we will plot the other ordered pairs also. So, by plotting all the ordered pairs, we are getting this scatter diagram for the given data. Now, in this scatter diagram, all the points are moving in upward direction. Here, when there is an increase in the number of gallons, the distance travelled is also increased. So it is a positive relationship. Now these points are neither too close nor too far from each other. So there is a moderate degree of association between the two variables. And here all the points follow the same trend. So there is a moderate positive relationship between the two variables. And it is also clear from the graph that almost all the points are moving upward in a straight line. So there is a linear relationship. And there are no outliers. Now let us draw a straight line. Now we have a point 0, 0 in the table. So we start from origin and draw in such a way that all the points are close to the line or lie on it. So here we have drawn a line. in such a way that all the points are close to the line or lie on it. Now this line which is drawn is good fit for the data set because all the points are on the line or are very close to the line on either side. So in this session we have learnt about 
linear and non-linear relationship and how to draw the line of fit for a bivariate theta. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.